just a, it's just plastic. My name is Hound. That's right. I'm back with another one. You've seen the thumbnail. That's right. I did it differently that time. <laughs> All right. We're going to review. Boom. The Target exclusive multiverse. Ow, man. DC multiverse. Ow, man. With the collect build Starro the Conqueror piece. This is right. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm a big Owlman fan because he's like the evil Batman. So I got a bunch, I got a pretty good collection of him. Yeah. So there he is. He looks pretty cool. I like it. There's the side. He's part of the crime syndicate. That's right. I think I already said that. Um, there's some of the other figures that come in this wave. God, you have to look up Crime Syndicate. I think it's been so long since I read any of the crime about the Crime Syndicate. Uh, it's been since New 52 since I've read anything about them. So, been a minute. So, and uh, and I think I watched a DC animated film about them. So, yeah, it's been a minute. <laughs> there you go. There's the uh, Starro build a figure. This is the uh, Starro version from. Suicide Squad number two. I forget what the name, exact name of it was. This one has got his tentacles. And it's also got like where you can put over somebody's head. So he gets an extra little piece as well. So there you go. There's the one that you can like put over somebody's head. And there's the tentacles. We'll pull them out. Let's check them out. I think that's pretty neat. I like the way, I like the fact that they actually gave us. You know, something to go over the other characters' heads. I wish we'd have got more accessories, but McFarlane sucks for accessories. So, you know, no shocker there. All right, let's go ahead and, before I get into it, I got a website. Go check it out. It's just plastic.com. I got my new logo. That's not my logo, but I got my new logo. Probably popped up on the screen. I got it on merch now. Link down in the description. Link for the websites down in the description. Link for my Instagram down in the description. Y'all hit me up. Say what's up. All right. Now let's get into this figure. Oh. Oh, one last thing. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Show YouTube y'all what you want me to be here. Show YouTube you actually want to watch my videos. Enough of that. Let's get into this figure. Alright, so comes with a cool data card, data file card. Alright. There's the back of it. You want to pause it? You can read it. Let's see what's his real name. Thomas Wayne Jr. Comes with one of these stupid little stands. Actually, for McFarland, they're not stupid because most of the things don't stand up. So uh, anyways, let's see here. So, comes with Starro that goes on the face. That could go over somebody's chest. Yep, looks more like it goes over the chest, not the face. Um, didn't think that's the way it was. I thought it went on their face. But that is way too big to go on their face. Ain't no way you're getting that on someone's face. Yeah. I guess, I don't remember in Suicide Squad they being on their chest, but maybe they were. But there's what it looks like on the inside. Oh, that's pretty cool. And it is flexible. It's a nice little rubber. It's got a cool little eye. I don't like how the eye is not center. It could be a little off, but that thing is super off and I cannot move it. It is glued in there. So, And then it comes with two Starro tentacles. So you get pretty much identical, I believe. I don't know if they're left, right. I don't I don't think there's a difference. Bottom, top, does not say. They do look different, so. Uh, oh, yeah, that says left. There's the L. And there's the R, right there. So you got left and right. But if I sell these on Macari, someone will be like, Oh, I didn't know. I didn't want the left and the right one. I wanted the top and the bottom. <sighs> Look at the listing. Sorry, I'm a little bitter. If you buy on, on the one soapbox message real quick in the middle of this, I'm sorry. But if you're buying on Macari or eBay, read the description. 
Read it. Don't give a bad review because you can't read. Dill? That's ridiculous. Oh, I don't like this. It says in the description, in played with condition, stickers are off, broken arm. Why was the arm broken? Read the description. Don't buy it if you don't want one with a broken arm. <sighs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into Mr. Owlman. There's his cool face. Oh, and by the way, no accessories. So for everybody that thinks McFarlane is like Jesus, no accessories for Owlman. You get this. I could have got this from Hasbro and got accessories with him. I ain't get nada. So, bull. All right. There's the cool chest. Not a lot of, there's a lot of sculpting, but not a lot of detail to bring out the sculpting. I like the wannabe feathers on the, on the uh, arms here and the gauntlets. Let's see, we'll get into articulation in just a minute. Back of the hands, the gloves look really cool. Oh, look at the cape. Yeah. of it continues the texture there's the back hill there's his knees and his boots what is that on his boot got some McFarlane fuzz <laughs> not from mine there you go zoom in pretty cool pretty cool all right, I guess we're going to go over articulation. Got out of my soapbox and didn't even realize I didn't have my... I bet should have been filming down here. Uh, all right, so articulation of the head. There's up. There you go. Not too shabby. There's down. That's not good at all. It's a little okay. Not too bad. 360. What we got in the shoulders? Let's see here. Ugh. We've got a shoulder. Okay, so that gets in the way, so you can't really go too far up. Yeah. Okay. Do got a bicep swivel. Does he have the stupid? Yeah, McFarland's little inner inner uh, arm swivel there that don't accomplish crap. Uh, now I can't get the dang arm down. Uh, so, like I said, bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows, uh, horrible ball joints that you can never move because the gauntlets are always in the way. Oh, uh, let's see here. What we got for articulation in the abdomen? Not too bad. Ab crunch backwards. Oh, yeah, more of a back crunch than an ab crunch. You get a swivel at the waist and the upper top. Not too much there, but we got plenty down here, so that's okay. I love the little owl on the belt. That's a nice touch, except for you got like three owls in a row, which is a little overboard. But I still think it's kind of cool. All right, and let's see here. Legs. He can do the split. No problem. All right, good deal, because... That was the first thing I was going to do is make him do the splits. Uh, double jointed knees. And let's see here what we got for in that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, we got some new ankles. Okay, so look, the ankle like is part of the boot. And it swiveled. It actually looks like it's part of the boot. I'm about to make a design compliment for McFarlane. I love this new ankle. I still hate the freaking ball joint wrist. I think they're horrible. But this right here, fan freaking tastic. I like that. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, 
Uh, it has its flaws too, but I like that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like this. That right there, that rock, that ankle rocker is awesome. I know this is gonna sound weird, but that may be freaking better than uh, Hasbro. I, I like that. That's cool. And a toe crunch that is super loose, but I'm gonna keep it. I, I made a positive comment about a McFarlane toy. Y'all write that down. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't about the overall looks because the overall look is great for the most part except for the bent legs because who's whose leg looks like this like look at this if your leg looked like this your leg would be broken like that knee, that knee into this leg is is like this whose leg turns like I mean Let me put this down. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You, you see that? You see that turn? Whose legs do this? Doesn't look too bad in that, but you can see a obvious curve right here. Go in the mirror and look at your legs and see if they curve like this. Yes, it's out, and then it curves back in. Whose leg does that? Let's do some... Uh, Let's do some comparisons with the older uh, Owl Man figures, and then we'll call this one done. Uh, I did make a compliment, but I still think the overall design of McFarlane figures suck. All right, so this one right here is from the DC Classics line. You can definitely see what I was complaining about earlier. It's not really a complaint because, look, owls. <laughs> and... Uh, all right, and this one is, I believe, I wanted to say New 52 line, but I don't, it, I'm pretty sure it is, but it's got a lot of articulation for the New 52 line, so, um, but you can see again, three owls, so that's pretty cool, I like this, this is probably, I really do like the way the McFarlane one looks, it does look fantastic, he looks great, um, I just... Man, McFarlane just rubs me wrong with the way he does things. Like, give us some accessories. This is ridiculous. And don't get, don't charge me a whole nother figure for an extra head. That's ridiculous. Give me the damn head. And this one is from the Classics line. Yeah, this is a classic. Which has not a lot of articulation either. But, you know what? It's the oldest one out of the line, I feel like, if I remember correctly. You can definitely see that these two are definitely shorter. And this one's definitely the biggest. And then this one is pretty much uh, third in line of height. I love this one because it's a classic and it throws back to him actually having an owl head on his head. <laughs> you know, the owl costume part on the top. Uh, this one looks more like the animated series. I really like that. So does this one looks like more like the newer animated series. Uh, this one's more like a comic book. You know what I mean? Like, And then this is your new syndicate. So um, where'd that come from? Anyways, I really, I do love Owlman. I like I like all four figures. I just dislike McFarlane. <laughs> so you're asking me right now, do I recommend this figure? If you're a crime syndicate fan, heck yes. If you are a fan of Batman, yes. If you're a fan of Owlman, heck yes. If you just really need a new figure, heck yes. If you want a figure with a whole lot of accessories, eh. <laughs> oh, but you wouldn't be buying a McFarlane figure if you expected a whole lot of accessories. So, wah, wah, wah. Anyways, I'll get off my soapbox again during this video. I've had a doozy of a week. I uh, rescued a new little puppy, and, uh, well, he is keeping me up at night. Go figure, right? <laughs> but he's my one of my greatest things that I've ever done. I love the heck out of the little boy. Uh, he is a little pit bull. He is named Titus. 
I have created a Instagram for him because I love him so much, and I will be sharing his stories on there. He is called the. I'll put it down in the description if I remember, but um, it's not only a few pictures on there right now. He is called the Toy Destroyer Titus because I collect toys. He destroys his toys, not my toys, his toys. So. I thought it was fitting. <laughs> he's only eight weeks old and he's going to be a terror for a while around here. So for a long while around here. Um, anyways, I, I enough about the bash at McFarlane. I just, it just, his uh, tactics irk me. Hasbro has their irks with me. Uh, Mattel has irks. You know, I just, some things just drive me nuts. McFarlane just seems to be, uh, he does a lot of things to irk me. So, uh, but overall, his figures are pretty good, so, you know, it is what it is. All right, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching the video. If you watched all the way to the end, woohoo, thank you! <laughs> all right, you guys take care, have a good one, and remember, it's just my story.